who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knows its time for setting, how big is darkness, and it is night. O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O oh God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O oh God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O oh God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for his eminence, Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the president of this country, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seasonable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Lord, unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you.
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Memorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Oh, 
Save us from all those who pursue our souls, and these all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master the Holy Angels. Bless the entrance of thy holy place, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend. Peace be 
unto all. He is king of the sixth hall. The Lord is king here, robed in majesty. The Lord is king here, robed in majesty. The Lord is robed here, girded with strength. We pray for the servants of God who are serving in the armed forces. Subdeacon Anthony, Igor, John, Alexander, and Rebecca. <coughs> and all those serving in the armed forces everywhere. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy. So again, we pray for the blessed ever and holy Orthodox patriarchs. Bless ever and found of this holy house. Be a part of the servants of God, the handmaid of Rissa Ann and the servants of God, the Archpriest John, to all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox who part of this life before us, we are in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who persecuted for their faith, especially of God, the Archbishop John and Paul, for all the Christian faith in Egypt, Iraq, Syria, Africa, Pakistan, across the Middle East and the Far East, Lord God will send down upon them every spiritual weapon to endure their tribulations. He grant that peace which surpasses all understanding upon the region and through all the world as a foretaste of his heavenly kingdom. Again, we pray for the people of Ukraine, Montenegro, Belarus. He granted the wisdom, huge respect, and love. We protect the violence and preserve them in peace. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation for the servants of God. Metropolitan Hermit, Archbishop Paul, Archbishop Benjamin, Archbishop Nathaniel, Archpriest Kenneth, Archpriest George, Archpriest Joseph, Archpriest Basil. Mother Archpriest Daniel, Priest Moses, Brother Deacon Lucas, Subdeacon Martin, Reader Basile, Maltuska Arisa, Maltuska Christine, Maltuska Mar, Maltuska Suzanne, Diagonisa Raisa, Anastasia Osvaldo, Florence Nicoletta, Martin, Rosemary, Edward Lisa, Christina, Catherine, Anastasia, Michael, Amelia, Phyllis, the Reader, Joseph, Jordan, Elijah, Alexander, Ronald, Francis, Samir, Barbara, Robert, Nicholas, Gary, Joseph, and the Warren family, the child Arya, Scott, and Richard, Joseph, Mark, James, Mark, Kajal, Mary Beth, Kelsey, and James, for all those of us who pray for them unworthy till we be, for those who need us and those who love us, 
and for the part in this shed of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Lord God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, all creation of this one and this one, in the level of goodness of down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name, to help and defend this day of affliction, from those that are weakness, so here is our cry and repentance and attrition of heart. O Lord of love us, mankind, deliver us, the impending threat of the coronavirus, and aid to watch over us and protect us, grant health recovery to those suffering from this virus, guide the hands of physicians, health care workers, and first responders, and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering, brother and sister in peace, and together may glorify with honor and majestic name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Come down. 
John for the salvation of human race. Down upon thy servant with an inheritance and lead the awesome judge of loveless mankind. So we bowed our heads and bent our necks at expecting help from men, but hoping in thy mercy, looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard us at all times, especially in present evening approaching night, while foes of all adverse powers of the devil, conveying thoughts, evil imaginations. For the rest of us glorified as the majesty of thy kingdom, for the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Hear the resurrection of Christ our Savior. The angels in heaven sing, and they will us on earth to glorify you in purity of heart. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. Destroying the gates of hell, breaking the chains of death. You resurrected the fallen human race as Almighty God. O Lord, who rose from the dead, glory to you. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. He is hiring to return us to paradise. Christ was yet to the cross and placed in a tomb. The woman bearing women saw him with tears crying. Lo to us, O Savior. How do you need to descend to death? What place can hold your life bearing body? Come to us as you promised. Take away our wailing and tears. Then the angel appeared to them. Stop your lamentations. Go from them to the apostles. The Lord is risen. Granting us purification and great mercy. your household, Lord, forevermore. Having been crucified as you will, by your burial you captured death, O Christ. Rising on the third day is God in glory, granting the world a living life and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glorious among priests and martyrs of heaven, long tested through torture, was granted to receive sweetness and divine riches among the blessed forever. He anointed many for the contest by his own example, and subdued the flesh that his mind might be above death. O faithful, let us cry out to him. O glorious martyr, by your grace to the Lord, release us from our chronic passions, and by your grace deliver us from evils. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. King of Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled, for the virgin gave birth yet remained a virgin. God was born in some nature was your soul anew. Do not despise the entreaties of your servants, O Mother of God. We offer them to you in your temple, since you carried in your arms a compassionate one. Have compassion on your servants, and pray that our souls may be saved.
we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to the us for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Disciples therefore rejoice at the sight of the Lord. Again he said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. He had said this, he breathed upon them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. 
For sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven them. For sins you shall retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. But the disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he answered, Unless I see his hands the print of the nails, put my finger in place of the nails, my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, the disciples were again inside, Thomas with them. Jesus came, the door being closed, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Bring here your finger, and see my hand, bring here your hand, and put it into my side, and be not unbelieving, but believing. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. And the other sign that Jesus also worked to the sight of the disciples, which are written in this book, <coughs> these are written that you may believe Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, and the believing you may have loved in his name. Glory to thee, O Lord. Patriarch Teacon, the light of America, 
in Raphael Bishop Brooklyn, in the Colas Hotel in Bishop Shisha, in John Bishop Shanghai in San Francisco, in Madaria in Libertyville, or in Priest Alexis in Wilfair, Jacob Alaska, the Alaskan Martyrs, Peter Yelling, Chernobyl Christmas, in Martyr John and Alexander, our Martyr Clement, and the Martyr Agathanicus, and the new Martyrs of Russia, we commemorate today. Holy Righteous Sister God, joy came in honor of all the saints, and mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind.